call it gory pictures like this off the internet. This is somebody that is suffering from Stevens-Johnson syndrome. This has gotten a lot of attention in psychiatric circles and also on the internet in particular. And I'm sure everybody here knows that the internet, you only have uh, you know, well-documented, science-based information out there. Okay, right? <coughs> well, yeah, not. Uh, but people get on there and they've been hurt. You know, and they've got a bone to pick, and they, and they want to alert other people. So, you know, our patients and parents of children that have these disorders, they're going to get on the Internet. <clears throat> if they go to one for Lamictal, they're going to start seeing these pictures. And it says, Stephen Johnson syndrome, this is a horrible immunologic reaction when it occurs. And it kills lots of people, even with heroic medical interventions. Many people die. It causes... Uh, mainly problems from the neck up. It's a rapidly progressive onset, um, sometimes referred to as a rash, but it's more than a rash. These people's skin on the inside of their cheeks starts sloughing off, they're bleeding from their eyes and nose. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's horrible, okay? So if I saw that, holy mackerel, I'm not going to take Lamictal. <clears throat> However, in teenagers and adults, extreme, extremely rare if gradual dosing. About seven years ago, the FDA and a similar uh, organization in, in Europe and Canada have mandated that with uh, people taking Lamictal, you start on very low doses and you gradually increase to a therapeutic dose. It takes a little while longer to get to uh, a dose that's really going to work. Uh, since then, and this has been monitored carefully in some of these countries that have socialized medicine, the incidence of Stevens Johnson with Lamictal is about zero, okay? But not with kids, not with pre-adolescent kids. It could be as much as 1% or 2% may develop this. So this is a drug that actually is very, it's, it's a good drug. It's got the best side effect profile of any bipolar drug. It's especially good for rapid cycling and for, for uh, bipolar depression. But the point I'm trying to make is this. People see, this is just the impact of the media. People see this kind of stuff, <clears throat> understandably scares them. And I hate somebody to be scared off because there's misinformation that this is practically a non-issue these days uh, with teenagers and adults.